it is right now. We're about to change it up. Step one, we're gonna go ahead and get these you got that. bolts here. These are all 10 millimeter. We're gonna get all that out. And eventually we're gonna go ahead and uh, go underneath, but we'll get there. So let's knock that out. So those aren't tens, I think they're eights. Kai fire. <laughs> anyway, we are uh changing up the grill for this 07 Chevy Suburban 1500. And unlike future Suburbans, where the grill and the bumper are separated, this is actually one unit. So it's actually connected. So in order to modify it, you actually have to cut the bumper. Or sorry, cut the bumper from the grill. And so we're using a perfect tool here. Easy, you can get it at Menards, um, Lowe's, um, Harbor Freight. And this tip is perfect. So watch what he's gonna do here. I'm gonna just film him. But key here is just, just go slow. You, you don't wanna rush this, right? Just take your time. And if you see, uh, it's pretty cold out here. It's only 20 degrees, but you notice how he's just taking his time and just getting it done. Alright, so you can do that all the way here. Gonna do it all the way here, all the way up. And then we're gonna take out the rest and pop it in the new grill. Which is gonna be this bad boy here. I'm just gonna repaint it. When I got it, it was uh too glossy for me, so I'm gonna actually paint it matte black. And uh, as soon as I'm done, we'll put some uh, matte gloss on there oh, sorry not gloss clear coat and that will uh, show you what it looks like so to take the grill off we've already cut under here hopefully we've gotten all the way through so we're just going to be taking these uh six bolts off and it should just pop right out these are 10 millimeter bolts It's just kind of secured to this foam stuff here. This is a little clip. So I'm gonna go get a flathead and we'll be right back. The only thing here, of course, there are two screws that went here. Actually, they don't look like screws, they're square, so it's almost you need like a little square um, bit almost to take them off, but you can just use a knife to remove them. Once you remove those, these come off, the foam stays, and you replace the grill with that. So I got the grill, it was good, but it came in gloss. Not a fan of the gloss, so I'm gonna go ahead and sand it off and paint it, sand it with the 800 grit, maybe 1500 afterward, and paint it matte, and then put it on. It's already started. You don't have to do much, just stuff it up a little bit. That's what you gotta do, and don't be too scared here, because the primer is gonna fill in any of the scratches. If you're going for perfection, you can go ahead and just do 1,000 or 1,200 grit afterwards so it can make it smooth, but I've done this a couple times and it turned out pretty good. So just take a look at the scratches there. Scratches there, don't be too concerned. That's how, how you roll. Right now I'm wiping it down with isopropyl alcohol just to get some of the uh, the dust and the uh, dirt that came from the sanding off. And I'm gonna put my first coat on. It looks like. Messed up a little bit, but <clears throat> not going to a car show. Messed up right here. It was actually great, but uh, I put my fingers on it. I thought it'd be dry by now, and it got a little fingerprints, and I was trying to sand it. I was like, eh, I'll redo it shortly anyway, so I just need to get it back on so I can drive it. I was looking at it, I didn't tell you I'm a perfectionist. I said, what the hey, I'll go ahead and apply one more coat. And I actually covered it up pretty good. So, to let this dry and put it on so I can drive the thing. Replace these lights with new projector lights. 
So first thing, you take off these panels with the little panel clip pliers or right, whatever. And then you have to get in here. If you can see, there is a 10 mil that you need. It's like right there. That 10 mil right there. Gotta loosen that on both sides. Loosen that. Loosen this. This. The lights come out. The new ones, you can't tell in the light, but these are smoke. And I am going to be popping these bad boys back on. So I'm taking off the headlight. Now, in order to get it out without removing the bumper, normally you lower the bumper so you can get it. You can kind of play with it. I had to kind of finagle. So just kind of finagle and wham, it's out. So typically all the ones, all the videos I saw, people had to kind of go to under. Don't do that. So first step, you're gonna take these off. One's H11, one's 9005. Now I was concerned that I wouldn't know the difference because when I got the LED package, they all look the same, but you'll notice that the prongs on one of them is in, in, inside the prongs and the other is, is, is wider. So you'll see it. You, you really, you literally can't mistake it because it's different. Hold it. All right. Get that out. We're getting this out. And we're getting this out. I'm putting a little heat on it just because it's cold outside and it's a little stiffer out here. So not so close, please. It makes it harder to get out. Unless you got a little heat on it. Alright. There's some mustard down there. Perfect. Alright, there it is. So, out. Follow me. We we're replacing with this. Alright, so I'm replacing the DRL, or I guess that's the nightlight. And sorry, signal. So I went ahead and just got all these from eBay, real cheap from China. But these are the expensive ones from China, which is 10 times cheaper than the ones in the US. Hey, I'm all about US, but not spending an arm and legs. These are like, what, nine bucks a piece when you can get them for like a dollar? Just gotta wait about two weeks. But hey, save money. That and this is the error-free uh, I-94 or 921. But this is too long I found out, so I'm gonna have to get a different one. But I'm just gonna, for now, install these and then Later on, I'll uh, install a shorter one. So um, that's all I'm installing. This, 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 and that's all she wrote. So let's go. Get that out. Now I'm gonna put it in. I don't know which one's positive or negative. So I'm gonna put it in and then test it. And if it's Nah, I'll switch. all you gotta do is just switch it around. Literally just switch it around. So, where's she at here? Is one going? That's where the grease comes in, right? Get there. All right, here. These are a little tricky. All these trickies are. Good thing is, once they're in, they're in. I'll do this one first. This one's easy. All right. It's out. All right, I'm going to get this one out. I'm right back. Plus side mirrors. Alright YouTube, the light's a little, uh, uh, needs to some washing, but here's what it looks like, far away, grill, between now installing it, kind of broke it, so I gotta install another one, but, here's what she looks like. Not bad. Not bad. Alright, if this was helpful, like, comment, subscribe, Magnificent signing out. <laughs>